Reading is closed on October 27, 2022. We always start with our disclaimer, so let us begin. It's my trading plan for Friday, October 28th, 2022. Please remember, I can be wrong, completely wrong. Any trade one makes should be at one's own risk. Look for the pattern with the early low, which is this. And we said that unless we took this high out early with a gap that we should see lower prices. We gapped up smartly, nowhere near taking out the high, and we did get to lower prices. And this is just a reminder of what we said. I had yesterday the NASDAQ McClellan over its upper Bollinger Band. When I looked today, it wasn't. So even though we dropped back down today, and even though we could have had a top, it didn't give the signal I was looking for because it wasn't over the band. During the day, Michi T marked this move as false that we retraced. We did. Here we got an ultimate sell signal that's played out. It says this drop won't stick. It gives us a target of 38.35.47. Unless we gap up smartly, the rules call for that to print. Change it, change that. Unless we gap down smartly, the rules call for that to print. And of course, after the close, the market collapsed, which recovered a good portion of it. But it's entirely possible we do gap down smartly. I won't know that until the open. Well, I still think there are all kinds of ways to count this. I still would like to see us retrace to this line, but I can't say it has to happen now. Let's take a look at this move up. I don't really know how to count with any great degree of certainty, but if that's A and that's B, I suppose you could have completed blue A, a black C. Wouldn't shock me at all if some other counts worked. Let's take a look at what could be blue B, a black C. This doesn't break any rules. Got five waves down for A. Here's an ABC. We could be making wave C down. And if that's the right idea, it's at least possible we hit blue B tomorrow and then reverse up because the pattern usually is a rally day. But I'm not going to claim that's the only way this could play out. And at this point, I'm not risking any money on it. I'm just saying it's possible. When we collapsed overnight, we did see this equivalent price print, but that doesn't count because I don't cross things off the list until they print in regular trading hours. So unless we gap down smartly, we have a target, but we could easily gap down smartly Although the number should still print, perhaps not when we want it to, as far as time goes. Just remember, until the middle of next week, I'm not playing with all my cards. Tomorrow's market has a really high. We could still get down. But typically, it's a rally day with a final hour high. Failures, a straight line drop. And based on futures, that's entirely possible. There's a higher target. If we don't gap down smartly, rules call for it to print, but futures are already down smartly, so it's entirely possible that doesn't print. So I'm just going to have to see where we open to have more confidence. We do gap down. It doesn't mean this won't print, just means I'm not predicting it'll happen tomorrow. Also not predicting it won't. And the day usually is a strong rally or a straight line drop. And we don't have to risk money until it's clear which of those two things is going to happen. Tomorrow has a really high and that's today's call.